Let's not make this into a fight, okay? Hello my fellow goobers and welcome back to Gotham Knights. If you guys have been enjoying the series so far, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. If you're new to the channel, there are a couple of cards in the top right corner, so make sure to check them out because they contain other playlists. And yeah, without further ado, we're already in we're already in the video. Alright. Um So basically from the previous video's ending we had to protect our allies, which was I guess we're nearing the end of this game because this is kind of like end game mechanics just to extend the duration of the game more. Basically what we had to do is we had to go to every ally and basically defend them. So as you can see, by defending them just means you had to beat an insane amount of enemies. So yeah this is the last one and the last enemy as well and we should be good. All right, return to the belfry. We got it. Let's go. I've scoured all of my networks. No sign of Talia anywhere. The League is still in Gotham. She's here. We just have to find her. Goddamn ninjas. So. This is weird. Weird like undead talents coming back to life, or weird like... Uh, how do I keep losing this freaking game? Weird like there was this reroute situation that I was tracking. But then there were fluctuations, and now... I think I found Kalia. What were you tracking? At first it looked like nothing, but now... Whoa. That's a lot of power that's been siphoned. Not necessarily definitive, except... Except? The power was diverted... here. Is an Arkham empty? Like, you know... <laughs> collapsed? It has been for a couple of years. And with our missing ninja friend... Here. <sighs> She's only been there for a few weeks. Maybe it won't be too bad. Or... this is a trap. She's too good to just let us find her. But we have a lead. We do have a lead. Yeah. Talia wasn't here just to mess with us. She's got something else up her sleeve. Well, guess it's time to go back to that asbestos encrusted shithole. There's new data on the other. All right, I guess we're going to Alchem Asylum insane. I really want to switch to Batwoman, Batgirl right now because I've had enough of Red Hood for the moment and she does the second most damage. Alright, Arkham Asylum, let's go. Received, keep us updated. On. Also, yeah, Batgirl yeah, looks insane. Her costumes are so good. Red Hood is my favorite character, but Batgirl's customized like hope. The thing is, right? You can, you have armor sets which make your characters like look different, and then you have these preset armor set thingies as well, which is just essentially a skin, like this one, for example. This is like a preset on top of the armor set that I have familiar. and it looks cool so I was like why not How could Langstrom or Talia okay we seem to have a puzzle playing with genetic markers. okay Hate do we have any other pain. information over here okay this is 200% strength and everything higher percentage than other serums Extra component. All right, so I'm pretty sure it's this one only. Let's go. Talia took Langstrom's method and ran with it using League volunteers. Subjects showed increased strength. I wonder how strong. They were conducting sonic tests in the tower here. But why? Downloading the data now. Free. We've lost power here. Damn. Okay then. Looking at the 
Also, like these, what do we say, new puzzles are not as bad as I thought they would be. I thought they'd be irritating, but they're actually quite easy. All right, we need to restore that power. Oh, okay then. Come on, fight me. Fight me. Also, yeah, I think I mentioned this before, but if I have and I'll just say it again. The combat kind of looks repetitive and it is at points, but the thing is, if you understand the combat, you can actually do cool things like what I just did. This is essentially a perfect hit, so... When hitting enemies, there's a, sp there's a specific point where like... If you press properly, you'll do a perfect attack. And there's just like a, a, like a flash of light to indicate. So if you press square after you hit that light... Oh no. Yeah, then you'll end up doing a perfect attack like how just did now as well and then apart from that you have your orcs you have triangle for your heavy but it's the thing is right like batman arkham knights um what do we say combat i'm just gonna use that as reference because it was introduced in asylum but obviously it was tweaked until arkham knight where it was the last thing i guess and that combat it looked too easy like I played the game on hard difficulty and I died thrice and the only time like the majority of the times I died was like during the bat um and it was the thing like not like, the vehicle sections basically but I died in combat only once yeah I obviously had a lot of few clo close calls and everything but I only died in combat once and the thing is that combat was too simple you just keep pressing square like a maniac, then you press triangle. And at times you have to press circle and then you have to keep spamming square here. At least you have to properly dodge and you're not just like, you know, getting flown towards the enemies. Like you have to be at a certain distance to them. So I guess it's a, like a more refined, like a more realistic version of the combat from the Arkham games. It's not necessarily bad. But yeah, the Arkham Knight com like the Arkham Knight, like where they found these. what do we say? The the combat is definitely very easy. At least this they tried to make it realistic, and that's the thing with this game. Even with the traversal, they're trying to make it realistic. Which I mean, if it's good, if it's bad, I'll leave it up to your discretion. But yeah, that's enough of that. Let's figure this puzzle out. All right, it's done. We did it. What is Group M? Why M out of all numbers? Is that like the amount of trial and error? Like they went from A all the way to M and they figured out figured it out during M. Also, there are a lot of bats. They just came. Like yeah, I guess I get it. It's Sonic stuff, right? But what if? It's a Batman Precisely, reference. But where is the Lazarus pit? I don't know. I guess we'll see. Judging from the amount and timeline, somewhere under Gotham. Oh no.
Is that a man bat? Yup, that's a man bat. Okay then. Also, I'm a bit concerned because this guy doesn't have like a boss's health bar. He has a normal enemy health bar. Which I swear if they if I have to fight like two man bats, Italian, and League of Assassins, slash Italian hybrid, what we had to fight in the previous video, and a heavy guy, that would just be not fun. But why does he have a normal enemy's health bar? What is this? Also, is this man bat thingy gonna be the equivalent of um the Valkyries from God of War 2018? Like there's just a king man bat just chilling somewhere in Gotham and that's like end game content. Come on. Oh shit. No you don't. Come on then, let's go. Yo, this thing. I think I beat him already. Yup, I did. That's insane. Scans show your back is not injured, bruised, but nothing more. Chaos in Gotham City tonight after another vicious attack in Robinson Park. There are reports across the city of flying creatures wreaking havoc. Police are urging citizens to stay calm and remain indoors. Uh, I'm going back out there. The others are already on patrol. Once you are ready... I'm ready. When I was injured, everyone expected me to quit. But that was never gonna happen. Protecting people runs in my veins. It's what I do. No matter what alias I go by, that's who I am. That's who I'll always be. As long as there are people who need me. I'm certain you already know what must be done. There's a Lazarus pit somewhere in Gotham. Wherever it is, Talia and her league won't be far. Time to put an end to this. Right then, what do we have here? New data was added to the Check the man bat locations. Oh no, we're gonna have to beat more of them. Oh goodness me. 
uh, leads, priority intel. Where is it? Oh, okay. There are three of them, so I'm gonna have to beat three of them before going on to the main story. Are you kidding me right now? This is so unnecessary. But yeah, I guess it's like we're nearing the end of the game, that's why they're doing this. Alright. Where is it? Fight me. Okay, we're definitely in the right place. Because they don't even show you the marker, they only show you the marker when you're nearby. Okay, that it's here, but I don't see, okay, he's flying around. Come on, then get down from there and fight. Oh shit, right when I said that, god damn it. Impeccable timing by the AI. What is this? Oh shit. Oh god damn. Come on. Okay, so they don't even like look different, they look exactly the same. But yeah, like if they have like a king of man bats as a end game. By end game I mean like post campaign thingy. I I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, I try to I press square after like getting down from the vantage point in order to do more damage, but I guess that didn't take. Come on then. Wouldn't you look at this? He has backup. And it's not just normal League of Shadow people, he has the heavy dudes as well. And this is just like making me go on my suspicion that we're nearing the end of the game. That's why these tactics and mechanics are coming out. They're doing whatever they can to extend the game. Why? I don't know. Like, the game, whatever I've played wasn't as bad. Like, if it ends, it's okay. Like, just let it end. But no, they're making you go through all this shit for only God knows what reason. To fight all these guys as well. God damn it, man. This is so irritating. And this is kind of getting me concerned for the last mission as well. Alright. Come on, it's the final one. The thing is... The second bat... Was exactly the same. No new combos. No nothing. It was exactly the same. You just have to beat the same thing and so is this guy he's exactly the same you don't have to do anything it's nothing special there's no like you know the man bat will pick you up and fly you off into some area or some shit like that it's the exact same thing yeah see he'll definitely fly away when you almost have him but it's nothing new in terms of like combat or whatever or location come on and he has backup, which is not fair. I don't have backup. Because the thing is, so this game is co-op, and I've always like let co-op be online. And I thought there would be like this random punch-in, punch-out thing where, I, where anyone could just join you, but I guess not. Because I checked my settings and I made it like public, so anyone could join. But this entire freaking run, not a single person has just dropped into my session. Unless it's invite only, which I don't know. I thought anyone could just jump in and jump out, but I guess that's not the case. Come on, enough. Just just go down. Go gently into the night. Okay. Reach Gotham Cemetery. Oh, they're coming from the cemetery. Okay, so I guess there is going to be a king bat or some shit like that. Hey, that rhymed. Alright then ladies and gentlemen that's gonna be it for today's video we'll be checking out the cemetery in the next video so yep that's it for today's video if you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe there are a couple of cars in the top right corner so make sure to check them out and yep I'll be seeing you on the next video until then goodbye stay safe and have a great day ahead.